Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And today, I am very, very excited. I love doing unboxings on my channel. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And um, I just recently started doing them like six months ago. But every time a box shows up at my door, I get so excited. And yesterday, I was getting out of my car, and um, the postman was outside, and he was like, here, and I was like, oh my god, it's a box. <laughs> I love the boxes so much. So today, I am going to do an unboxing of a Creepy Crate, and they are so nice that they sent me a box for review. So I will link all of their information below, and you can go check them out. All right, let's get right into this box. Now, if you don't know about Creepy Crate, it's a lot of, like, horror movie stuff, scary. Last time I reviewed it, I think they had their very first, like, novel in there. So I'm super, super excited. Okay, let's get right into this, and we'll just tear right through it and see what they have. Creepy Crate. I love that name, too. Okay, so when you open the box, I have not opened it, or I just cut the tab open so I could open it right now. When you open it, oh, it looks pretty spooky. Oh my gosh. I hope they keep on sending these to me, even through Halloween, because I love them. So when you open it, here's what it looks like inside Creepy Crate. And um, it goes through, and there's like a little menu of everything that you got. Now, you guys can see everything that I got, but I'm not going to look at it, because I want to be surprised as I go. So we'll read it as I go. Now, the first thing that I got, and I'm gonna, here it is. I don't know what it is. <gasps> what, is it an apron? Oh my God, it is an apron! I love this so much. Okay, I'm keeping this. Some of the things I get in these subscription boxes, I give away to my friends, but a lot of them I keep um, because I just, they're too much fun. It says, tonight I'm having over, I'm having an old friend for dinner. Is that from Silence of the Lambs? I kind of feel like it is. So, oh my God, I love this so much. <sighs> and look, <laughs> I'm having a bloody drink today. <laughs> it's a pink drink from uh, Starbucks. It really has nothing to do with blood, but <laughs> I also have a coffee, but I thought, well, <laughs> I do look like a barista, don't I, from Starbucks right now? Anyway, if this was green. Okay, I love this. And it, oh my God, it has pockets in it. How perfect. So you can just stand there and be like that. Okay, I love this apron so much. Mmm. Okay. Let's read what it says about the apron. Cannibal a I'm like this. So I can't see what the other surprises are. Cannibal apron. Emblazoned with... Oh, it is Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. Emblazoned with one of Hannibal Lecter's most delicious quotes, this black and red apron will remind guests to inspect their meatloaf before chowing down. At the top it says, feast your eyes on a box full of mystery. This month we're helping you stock your kitchen with twisted culinary goods. From terrifying teaware and cookie cutters to a cannibal-inspired apron. This is really fun. I like this. Okay. So, this is first the apron. Da, 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 da. Don't be so scared. If I invite you over for dinner, the only thing that you should be afraid of is that I can't cook. Okay. The next thing is um, this. And I know what this is because I've gotten sent these before in the mail. They're like little, like, tea sets. So, you put the tea in here. And then you put this around the edge of your mug. I love these, okay? I have a pink elephant that somebody sent me that I use all the time. Hold on a second. These are really fun. And they're really great for guests, too. Like, if you want to have a friend over for tea. And you're like, do you want tea? And they're totally not expecting this. So, here it is. It's a skull and crossbones. Can you guys see it? Or is it the light shining? Can you see it? But it is legit a skull. Do you see? And then crossbones. So, what you do is you take this off. And then you put the loose leaf tea inside of there. And then you close it up, and then you put this in, and then you fill it up with water, and then you hang this over the side. I mean, for Halloween. I think that's a lot of fun, don't you? Okay. So, yeah. So, I will be keeping that, too. Then the next thing is... I won't be keeping this. I haven't had a drink since uh, I was 22 and a half years old. I've been sober since uh, for 23 years. But this is a fl Oh my god! I know exactly who I'm giving this to. She doesn't even drink, but this will be so fantastic. Oh my god. Oh my god! My friend Melissa is the biggest horror movie fan in the entire world. Our favorite movies together is the original Halloween. She love, love, loves Halloween so much. And she has gone to like all of the horror movie festivals. She's got all of her movie posters signed by the entire cast, including Jamie Lee Curtis. And six months, I think from yesterday, the movie comes out, Jamie Lee Curtis tweeted something about it. What is this, you might ask? It's a flask with Michael Myers on the front of it. Oh my God, I'm giving this to Melissa. I'm gonna actually drive this over to her today. That is so cool. Is that not so cool? Okay. So let's see what it says about these two things. Um, Michael Myers flask, hide the knives, toast the impending return 
of Michael Myers with this Halloween themed flask. It's sure to conjure trouble wherever it goes. That is so cute. And then skull tea infuser. Dunk this little skull into your mug for a steaming cup of witch's brew. Okay. And then there's two other things on here, but I don't see. Oh, here it is. Okay. And then it is, are you ready for this? A hatchet. <laughs> cookie cutter how cute is that my mother would have loved that back in the day she was all, she had all the shapes of all the cookies you guys remember that when you used to make cookies back in the day my mother couldn't uh, she couldn't bake a cookie to save her life she go I like the burnt ones I go mom they're all burnt she burnt every cookie she ever made but this is cute isn't it you wouldn't really know what it was when it came out though so <laughs> okay and then let's see that was uh, hatchet cookie cutter a Borden murders inspired tool with will cut your cookies into miniature weapons that is adorable okay and then the next one is a spoon. Oh my God, I live for this. Golden skull sugar spoon. This is so cute. A spoon for, full of sugar transforms into a glittering skull with this uh, golden utensil. And here, let's just take it out of this because this is beautiful. I love this. Look at that. See, it's a skull. Ooh, spooky, spooky. This is one of my favorite, like, crates. I love this. Um, it is so much fun. I like anything cre creepy, anything mystery out there. So, yeah. Okay. And then the last thing in here is the book that they sent. And um, it says, I, I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. Michelle McNamara's best-selling true crime book chronicles her search for the gold. Oh, my God. Okay, this is so crazy. I was just talking to a friend of mine. I went to a birthday party the other night, and my friend, she and I, and my, our friend Melissa, we all listened to that podcast, My Favorite Killer. Did you guys listen to that podcast? They talk about uh, serial killers. And she was like, they were talking about the Golden State Killer, and she read, read this book, and she was talking to me about this book. She listened to it on Audible. And she was like, this is one of the best true crime novels I've ever listened or ever read in my entire life. She started talking about it, and I go, oh, is it about the woman that passed away before it was finished? And she goes, yeah. She goes, it's really, really good. You have to read it. I was going to go out this weekend and get it. A true story. My friend Susan, she knows, she's the one. Okay. Michelle McNamara's best-selling true crime book chronicles her search for the Golden State Killer, one of the most prolific murderers in modern U.S. history, whose whereabouts are currently unknown. McNamara passed away before I'll Be Gone hit shelves, whereupon it shot to the top of the New York Times bestseller list. This book, ser this book serves as a testament to her comprehensive investigative work. See, I told you it was a book. And you want to see it? Here it is. I'll Be Gone in the Dark, One Woman's Obsessive Search for the Golden State Killer. By Michelle McNamara with an introduction by Jillian Flynn, you know, who wrote like Gone Girl and all that kind of stuff. And an afterward by Patton Oswalt. I don't know who that is. Uh, a masterful true crime account of the Golden State Killer, the elusive serial rapist turned murderer who ta terrorized California for over a decade. From Michelle McNamara, the gifted journalist who died tragically while investigating the case. And here's her picture. And she passed away in 2016. So sad. You'll be silent forever and I'll be gone in the dark. Over the course of more than 10 years, a mysterious and violent predator committed 50 sexual assaults in Northern California before moving south where he perpetrated 10 sadistic murders. In 1986, he disappeared, eluding capture by multiple police forces and some of the best detectives in the area. Three decades later, Michelle McNamara, a true crime journalist who created the popular website True Crime Diary, was determined to find the violent psychopath she called the Golden State Killer. Michelle poured over police reports, interviewed victims, and embedded herself in the online communities that were as obsessed with the case as she was. At the time of the crimes, the Golden State Killer was between the ages of 18 and 30, Caucasian and athletic, capable of vaulting tall fences. He always wore a mask. After choosing it, I'm getting kind of spooked just even reading this. After choosing his victims, he favored suburban couples. Oh my God, I'm a suburban couple. Okay, after he favored suburban couples, he often entered their homes with no, when no one was there. Oh my God, I just got home. <sighs> Studying family pictures, mastering the layouts. He... Family pictures. Oh my God. He attacked while they... Oh! He attacked while they slept using a flashlight to awaken and blind them. Though they could not recognize him, his victims recalled his voice. A guttural whisper through clenched teeth, abrupt. And threatening! I'll Be Gone in the Dark, the masterpiece McNamara was writing at the time of her sudden death, offers an atmospheric snapshot of a moment in American history and a chilling account of criminal mastermind and the wreckage she left behind. It is also a portrait of a woman's obsession and her unflagging pursuit of the truth. Framed by an introduction from Jillian Flynn and an afterword by McNamara's husband, Patton Oswalt, the book was compelled by Michelle's lead researcher and a close colleague. 
utterly original and compelling, it is destined to become a true crime classic. And may at last unmask the Golden State Killer. Unless he's lurching in my house right now, and I would be terrified all day long. This book, I cannot wait to read this. I might have to start this today, actually. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Have you guys heard of this book? Alright, well, I'll put the book information below. But then I'm also going to link Creepy Crate. Thank you so much, Creepy Crate, for sending this to me. Now, you know, like I say before, my mother taught me that on Christmas, you always have to display all your presents so that you, that everybody knows how excited that you were, that you, you know, we'll put that in there, how excited that you were for all your Christmas presents that you got. I think that's real nice of Creepy Crate to send that to me. One of these could be yours, too, if you subscribe. So I will link all the information below. Go check them out. Go check the book out. Oh, the apron. I forgot about my apron. Thumbnail. All right, you guys, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.